Today's episode of Daily Scuba News is sponsored by Scuba Diver magazine, but more about them later. So scuba diver Todd Raymond Russell was found lost at sea after being separated from his diving group for around four hours. So Todd and friends were diving off the Wellington coast for Kena on the 22nd of December in the afternoon when Todd realized that his SMB line was a bit too short, so he surfaced to try and fix the issue. After fixing the problem, Todd decided to go back down to rejoin his buddy um, but encountered the same problem again and uh, he just resurfaced. So Todd had resurfaced a few hundred meters away from the small rigid hull boat that the group were actually diving from, but whilst he waited for the others to get back on board the boat and then the boat to come pick him up, the current was actually ripping him away further and further and he couldn't make it back to the boat and just drifted away with the current. 20 minutes after initially losing track of Todd, the five other people on the boat raised alarms and actually called the police, who started a search for the missing diver with boats, officers on the shore, alongside with Coast Guard boats and aircraft aiding the search. So within the very first minute or so, Todd realized that he was moving fast in the current and there was no chance of him just swimming to shore. He estimated that he was moving around 10 knots, which is pretty fast, which there's no chance that he could swim against. So Todd described his time at sea as like being stuck in a washing machine with waves constantly crashing overhead, making it hard to breathe at times. He had to use his regulator on the surface just to breathe without inhaling any water. When the sun eventually started to go down, Todd braced himself for a night at sea, actually comforted by the sight of rescue uh, helicopters and boats actually looking for him. Okay, so before I continue with the story, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. So Scuba Diver Magazine is a monthly publication which is available in most countries and covers all of the latest news stories so that you can keep up to date with the latest news in and around the scuba diving industry. Scuba Diver also covers all three aspects of modern scuba diving training, travel, and equipment with how-to guides and reviews on the latest gear and trends. You can also join the discussion over at scubadivermag.com with plenty of articles, news stories, dive site reviews, and advice. To find out more about Scuba Diver Magazine, just click on the link pinned in the comments below. Okay, so back to the story. So four hours later, three kilometers out to sea and around 10 kilometers from where he he was first lost, Todd was found in rough seas and recovered and was assessed by paramedics before being taken to hospital for further assessment. So even with an SMB, the search boat that actually finally found him was just 100 meters away from him when they finally spotted him. Sergeant Richard Kennedy of the Wellington Maritime Unit said in regards to this incident that this highlights the importance of having a good safety plan and that Todd was extremely lucky to have been found and what could have happened overnight is anyone's guess. So whilst this story does have a happy ending, it really does go to show that it is very important to raise alarms as quickly as possible and to be as visible as possible in the water, especially choppy waters. So how lucky was Todd? Todd to be found. He said that he'd be happy to jump back in the water tomorrow if the weather clears up and his wife gives him the okay. Um, but what do you guys think? Let's discuss diver safety in the comments below. Thank you for watching and safe diving. The researchers also said that the LED upgrade should be quite appealing to some fishermen too because large animals they, that get caught in some of their nets damage the net trying to free themselves, obviously, um, and the fishermen aren't obviously they're in the business of catching an endangered species. So the less they get caught in their nets that they don't want, the better 